All right, big question. Will homes be worth more or less in 2007? Time to get more for your money. Ben Stein, Patricia Powell and Mike Norman are back and joining us now, Tom Adkins and Peter Schiff. Tom, what do you think? You're going to see uh, prices go up about 10%. Here's why. Because you're going to come into a regular normal market and a regular normal market, that's about what kind of appreciation you get. Why? I look at, with the, with, at that, the, uh, the hit that the housing industry took over the past year. You had oil prices that went up, which meant gasoline costs 50% more. You had the Federal Reserve over two years raised rates. Three 100% and still the housing market barely took it at all. It became a 3% right. uh, cut in price. So your judgment it. is pr home prices up 10% <laughs> in the coming year. Peter, what do you say? Well, today's home prices are completely unsustainable. They were bid up to these artificial heights by a combination of temporarily low adjustable rate mortgage payments, by a complete you know, absence of any lending standards, and by speculative buying. And what's going to happen in 2007 is a lot of these artificially low arm payments are going to re be reset upward. You're going to start to see uh, both the government and the lenders <coughs> reimposing lending standards and tightening up on credit. And you're going to see a lot of the speculative buyers turn into sellers. And these sky high real estate prices are going to come crashing back down to earth. And there's no way to stop it other than the Federal Reserve creating so much inflation that rather than real estate prices collapsing, the price of everything else goes through the roof. And so I say it really doesn't mean much if your townhome is worth a million dollars if it costs you $500 to fill up your refrigerator. Okay, so uh, your word is sharply lower by the end of 07. Ben Stein, what's your opinion on this? I have no idea what they'll be like, but it would be a very, very unusual housing correction if it didn't take a few years to run its course, and this one is only a year old. But I always say, if you find a house you love, buy it in 10 years, it'll be worth a lot more. I would not try to get absolutely bottom dollar in my buying. I'd find a house I love, and I'd buy it, and I would just be patient. Ah, the voice of reason. Ben's not fine. if it's well, overpriced, <laughs> though. If it's overpriced, just rent it. Now, net income growth is far too great yeah. to have this happen. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Uh, come on. You know, I, I think the prices are still going to come down. I think Ben is right. Right, that it's not over yet, that uh, one year, and it's not much of a correction anyway. We barely so have a blip, blip at all. Pr but prices are already on the way back ev up now. Every time you have a 1% change in the mortgage rate, there's an 11% change in the mortgage payment. And so unless the Fed is going to come in and seriously lower rates, I don't see how it can happen. I think we're going to continue with this correction, but mild. You know, a couple points maybe. Mike. I, I, first of all, I have no idea what Peter Schiff is talking about. I agree with Tom. I think they're going to be up, probably up to about 10%. What artificial lending standard are you talking about? Well, uh, talking mortgages about have been issued. We have a tiny default rate in the single digits, and that only applies to subprime. In other words, people with the lowest right. level of, uh, of credit standard. Um, by the way, the economy still is very strong. We have a 4.5% 4 unemployment rate. Uh, GDP is growing. The demographic Graphics. In Mike. other words, family formations, Mike. all the things that factor into housing Mike, are what playing I'm, in here, and is that is why right, we Mike. have not had Peter. a crash. Peter. What I'm, t I'm talking about people buying houses with no documentation of their income, putting nothing Ooh, down. How many, getting, what percent oh, let me, of the purchases? With no documentation, putting nothing down, getting negative amortization, interest-only mortgages. They're buying homes so they can't afford. It's, they're so speculating what? on appreciation. Interest-only mortgages are nothing wrong with them because you're paying the interest you're not losing money on it but the key thing to look at is net income growth if net income growth is going up and interest rates are staying the same and we have no inflation right now there's no reason for it to go up you're going to see prices go up again yeah, a lot of well, people who did that made a lot of money on their return on investment yeah, they made a lot of money wait, wait 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 last word to peter go most for it. of the profits that people have in real estate are going to vanish just like the profits in the, in the in the dot coms <laughs> in 1999-2000 it's a fantasy people can't sell their house the inventories are exploding all over the country. Houses are on the market for six months a year. There's no bidders. <laughs> so, uh, the price right. is going to fall through the floor. You guys I, are deluding yourself. We heard, it. Six months average. we heard it loud and clear from all of our palace. Oh. We thank you very much. Next.